Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good day today. I had a good day. It was uh, just a work day. I mean, it was, it was went by slow, but it was still a good day. I'm not going to complain about it going by slow. It was a good day. Um, um, yeah, so I hope you guys all had a good day. Let's get right into it. What did I wear today? I felt like going with Jaguar. Classic black. I have so many scents that sometimes I forget about certain scents that I really like, and this is one of them. Uh, I really like the Jaguar brand in general. I mean, you know, I've got six of their cars, you know, so. No. Would you believe one? No, you're right. I have a Hyundai Kona. Still, it's new. <laughs> uh, no, you need a, something like that around here in the wintertime. We get six months of winter, it's snow and ice. You can't be. <laughs> That's the reason I got rid of the charger that I did have. It was just a pointless car in the winter. I'd, I'd always have to borrow my father's car or truck or, or my girlfriend's car because the charger's a big V8 turbocharged rear wheel drive car and it was just all over the road in the winter uh, and I can drive but nobody can drive that so you don't understand when I say the winter's here when I say it's ice it's not a little spots ice it's a sheet of ice from basically the end of December to March the end of March it's a sheet of ice <laughs> covered in snow so unless you've got a Zamboni <laughs> it's the bitch to drive them but anyway that's not the point I just don't got pocket this is what I wore today I forgot how much I liked it. Um, I'll give you how I wore it and what I smell and stuff. Yes. Four in my moisturizer. One, two, one. Shirt on, one, one, two. Uh, performance. I get good performance out of this. There's, there seems to be a, almost a 50-50 with people. Some people say they get bad performance. Some people say they get great performance. I'm right in the middle. You know, moderate Moderate performance, you know, I got about six, seven hours, about seven hours actually out of it. Um, projected really good for about an hour and a half, about an arm's length out there. Then it come in and never really becomes a skin scent for a, a solid four hours. I mean, I was working at work and every time somebody opened the door or, you know, you'd walk by, I'd get a whiff of it for a solid four or five hours after. So it gives you a nice bubble. And then for the last couple hours, it's pretty much a skin scent. Um, so that's the performance. Um, what do I smell? This is Chrome Legend all grown up. That's the best way I can describe it. And I hate saying, oh, it's more mature. Or it's more, you know, because as soon as you say, oh, it's Chrome Legend, a more mature version of Chrome Legend or a mature version of insert fragrance here. Maybe you think people think of it as old man. Oh, it's old man. No, this isn't an old man saying it's just. A smoother version, I guess you could say, of Chrome Legend. Uh, the thing with Chrome Legend is it is synthetically, obnoxiously loud for the first, like, two hours. Uh, after that, it's, it's a decent scent. I have a hard time wearing Chrome Legend as much as I like it simply because of that fact. It is so synthetically loud and aggressive and sharp that... It's almost unwearable for the first hour and a half on me. It just, it, it makes me sneeze, makes my eyes water. People around here are choking out. Even if you only put on a couple of sprays. The Chrome Legend is a beast. Um, and this is definitely dialed back. Uh, like I said, moderate to slightly above average performance on me. Um, and the smell, quite honestly, if you know Chrome Legend, then you know what this smells like. It's... This sweet, slightly sweet, slightly tart green apple with a bit of a tea vibe, a bit of a metallic vibe, a semi-aquatic vibe, and a nice white musk. Um, the main player from start to finish, though, until the, the, the dry down, is the apple. I get the apple right from the start, right till it hits the last couple hours and it becomes a skin scent and then the musk and the uh well basically the musk the, the apple's still there but the musk comes in and the white clean linen like musk 
takes over. And that's what you get. Um, there's a tons of notes for this. I remember that, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, this ain't about notes and shit. I don't do that no more unless I do a full review. These are days with, and that that's it. I mean, it's a sweet tart green apple, slightly aquatic, a bit of metallic vibe to it, a little bit of a tea vibe even, and a musk. That's it. Love it. It's it's it's. It's like I said, it's got a slight fougere quality to it. It's very slight. So I'm gonna say there's probably a little bit of lavender in there, or carnation or or geranium or a combination of those flowers, because it does have that to it. Slightly powdery. Um but just a gorgeous scent. And that's the consensus all around, too, because three people today that I was working with gave me compliment. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, what's that? I like it, you know? So three compliments from people at work. Uh, then I asked a few other people, and they were, oh, I like it. It's nice. I like it. It's nice. Uh, and for $20. Might be a little more now. I don't know. But when I got it a couple years ago, a few years ago, it was $20. So if you grew up with Legend, basically, you like Legend, but you find it, like I do, a little too punchy, um, give this a try. You won't be disappointed at all. It is basically 90% Legend calm down a bit so all right guys that's it peace love be good to each other